Hey YouTube, this is Southern Purple One. I want to talk about and really just talk to the defenders of the capital in Ukraine or any defender of any city over in Ukraine. Uh, there's a lot of civilians that have taken up arms, uh, guys and gals that have no military training, and they are going to uh, really do a lot. Um, what they're doing now is allowing a lot of the regular army guys to be at different places uh, and freeing, freeing those guys up. So. I commend you if you are in Ukraine and you are fighting to protect your community, your, your village, your town, wherever it is, uh, I commend you. Um, I've done a lot of, in, in the last 10, 11 years, done a lot of videos, uh, little green men video, tactics video, but if I had a few seconds to talk to some of the defenders over in Ukraine, um, hopefully there's some military guys there, but probably with a lot of footage I see, there's not. You're going to be on your own, uh, but that's your terrain, that's your territory, that's your home field advantage. You have a huge advantage, and remember that. Uh, defenders always have an advantage inside a city because they can pre-plan, uh, and there's just a whole list, but I can't go into all of you we could teach for hours. I want to let you guys know fire is your friend in the sense of... Um, being able to stop tanks, yes, your government has has put out information how to make certain things. Um, those are important, especially because you're uh, not highly armed and you really don't have any anti-tank weapon. Fire is your friend. Fire can be your friend too. If you see people uh, outside the city, uh, Russian soldiers and their uh, uh, gathering, staging for an attack on your city, and they're Anywhere where there's con very combustible items, if they've gotten off the road, set the stuff on fire. Uh, that's going to cause confusion. It will clear out areas. You can see them. Uh, they might have to move. Um, it's just a good way to, to give you a combat multiplier. Also, barriers, if you can do anything to slow them down tank-wise. It's very hard to slow a tank down. But any type of barrier uh, it might be able to stop the larger supply trucks. You guys have to let, uh, you got to take care of their supplies. Their, their logistical supply train, you have to go after that. Almost priority. Um, if, if their main units have passed you and you're in Ukraine, you have to take out any supply truck. Every supply truck you take out is a huge benefit. If they don't have food at the front, if they don't have ammo, water, all the other stuff they need, uh, it's going to affect their morale because they can't get what they need and it's also going to make it easier for those guys and gals that are fighting them. Definitely first thing you do any type of war, any type of invader ever comes you get rid of all the signs. Uh, if you got grocery stores and other stores get rid of all the maps. Uh, they, If they don't know where they are they're gonna look at at stores and go in there and find maps like in the United States every convenience store has books and maps um, so get rid of those go to those stores if they're open or if they're even shut find out who owns them gather all those maps up you're gonna need them too because the internet could go down um, big thing in the big cities with the big high-rises a sledgehammer and a concrete saw is your best friend you need to start now planning passages so you can go from building to building to building, uh, not using the normal doorways. Make your own doorways. Make your own passageways. Um, the best thing to do is to have places where you can go and safely um, protect yourself from if they come and have to bring in big artillery. They might not do it right away, but as you resist them and, and you slow them down, they're going to decide, hey, let's just stand back and shell the place. Uh, that's why you're going to need to know underground. Be at the subway system, but look for smaller things. Look for things they're not going to find as easy. Uh, sewers, be careful of poison gas. Uh, any type of utilities that's under under your streets. I've never been to Ukraine. I don't know how they operate and how, how they have all their utilities. That's what you guys want to find. You want to be able to go underground, move underground, and then come up. Hit and run. Um, also, those underground places are going to be good for if you have a lot of artillery or a lot of cruise missiles hitting you. you got to find a safe spot to weather the storm. You also need a way to communicate. Be careful using radios. Uh, you might have to communicate by a runner. 
So have a plan to communicate because you might have only a few people to control a huge area. You don't know if you have multiple avenues of approach into your area. Uh, you're going to have to mass your forces. So to mass your forces as a defender, you're going to have to figure out where they're coming. As soon as you figure out they're coming down street A instead of street B, you need to be able to move uh, whatever you have to stop them over there if you don't have enough to have stuff on A and B. So if they do shell you, if they do create a lot of rubble, rubble's your best friend. Don't be upset if they're doing that because everything they throw from the buildings into the street is slowing them down so they cannot move forward with their tanks. That's the primary purpose. You don't want their tanks and their infantry working together. If you can separate their infantry from their tanks, you have been very successful. Uh, tanks have to have infantry. Uh, a bunch of tanks in that city with high rises, um, easy, easy to take them out. And, and, and fire would be your best bet. Um, so much so much that's why i teach you guys on this channel a lot of little green men series everything i can teach you i would love to teach you more but youtube is a very uh they don't like it they don't like it just the bottom line they probably thought three weeks ago oh, i'll never need to know how to use all the stuff in the little green men series or all the other tactical videos i thought they would have said dave's crazy i don't need this stuff it's 2022 they have a chance it's going to be hard but follow these simple things your best friend is a sledgehammer and a concrete saw your best friend will be being able to stay in a safe spot if they start artillery and then quickly moving out to take on the threat your best advantage is you know the terrain use that advantage uh, use that to your advantage if you're over in Ukraine fighting for your community i'm praying for you do the right thing and uh, if you got any guys that have military experience listen to them thanks for watching